All right, today we got a uh, pretty sweet vlog coming up. Got to grab a few things before I head out for the day. I got to grab some two-stroke oil because uh, we are going to be using the uh, the leaf blower. And then I need to grab a rake too because we're going to be cleaning some gutters. But let's grab this stuff and let's, uh, let's get to it. All right, if you don't know who I am, my name is Alan Lee and I own and operate uh, Honestly Handyman Services here out of Sacramento, California. And I'm also the founder of handymanjourney.com which is a professional website helping people uh, start their handyman business or take their handyman business to the next level. Um, I have been in business uh, currently for about two years and some people have asked me more about my uh, the independent contractor Frank that I have working with me. Uh, he is, he's doing great, been working with me now for about a week, week and a half. Uh, so doing great, he's off on his own, uh, you know, making his own money, which is great. And then uh, we have a we have a split with that, so that's that's pretty exciting to have him going. I'm actually working with him on Thursday. I worked with him a little bit last night too. So, anyways, we are going to go to Home Depot right now. We got to grab some gas for the uh, for the leaf blower, and then we're going to be cleaning some gutters and putting in some cool gutter guards. So, uh, pretty sweet. I I like these this style of gutter guards. I don't know if you guys install much gutter guards, but. Uh, I'm pretty excited for this style. I think it's a really good style, and uh, we kind of went with the, the more expensive style, so that's kind of cool. So uh, anyways, we're gonna go to Home Depot, and then we're gonna get to the job, so let's do it, guys. Well, also, one of the most common questions I get is, what is a Willog? A Willog is simply a work log, and it's fun to say. So let's get this Willog going. my phone has been ringing off the hook lately man we got all those gutter guards uh so we are and then we got some gas so we're heading over to the job now man i i, I wonder how many of you guys like answer your phone like every every time someone calls um i haven't i mean i don't answer my phone nearly yeah near i don't answer all the time for sure um it's probably like one in maybe 20 i mean i don't know if that's bad or not but i curious what do you guys do do you guys answer your phone every time someone calls every time a client calls or I mean because they leave a voicemail and then in my voicemail I have them text me so I just find that's easier for me because like if I was on the phone I'd be on the phone all day and wouldn't get anything done but uh, but anyways let, let's get going to the job right now we're gonna uh, get there we're gonna get some gas put in this uh, leaf blower and then we're gonna get started all right we're here at the house let's get up here and take a look at what we got going on here so this is our roof. As you can see, there's a lot of debris here. All around, we gotta clean that, the garage there as well. And then all along here, let's see what about's on this side. It's a little bit on this side, and then those gutters are just super clogged. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, uh, first off, put some gas in the, uh, in the leaf blower, blow all these leaves off, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna put the new gutter guards in the gutters. Um, so that's basically our mission for the day. Uh, but I got some pretty sweet gutter guards um, that, uh, that we're using for this, so I'm excited about that. Also, we are trying out a new pricing structure, so I'm gonna be talking about that a little bit later here, so that is pretty exciting. So uh, let's get to work. All right, first things first, we gotta mix, uh, mix this gasoline for two-stroke. Um, and my, uh, my leaf blower here, it recommends uh, 40 to 1. So that's what we're going to be mixing it at. So we're going to mix it at, uh, at 40 to 1. Here's my little kind of measuring cup that I use. And it has an actual marker for, you know, 40 to 1 right there. And this is all based off of, you know, how many gallons. So it's got a 1 gallon, 1 and a half gallon, 2 gallon, 2 and a half gallon. Whenever I do this, um, I usually only get a gallon of gallons worth of gas just because this gas doesn't last forever. Um, it's really only good for a few months, so you don't want to get more than you need and a gallon is the The smallest that I have for this cup. So that's what I go with and I usually run through a gallon, you know Before it goes bad. So we're gonna get to it
here are the uh, gutter guards that I got. So here are the gutter guards I got. These are the ones that I really like. They're all metal. They are made by, or they made by Amerimax and metal lock and gutter guards. I absolutely love these things. All right, I got the uh, got the first two in, and you can see here they are just basically some metal grates. You know what I really like about this is you know it doesn't allow any leaves in there, and the leaves that do get on there usually get washed off by by water or wind. So it's worked out really well. I've installed these quite a few times. You see, I only got two, so got to keep going. And as I keep going, I'll just make sure all the rest of the leaves are gone out of my way before I put one on. But this is kind of the, this one needs to be snapped together just a smidge more. But that's kind of the outlay of it. Okay, so basically what you do here is this just slides up underneath the shingles here and just slides in, you overlap it a little bit here. And then you kind of just hit it in till it goes underneath. And then they will just go they'll all kind of just fold underneath the front of underneath the front of the gutter edge here. And then once they're all in the gutter edge, kind of just pinch it down. And then you got a nice even spot. See this one needs to come forward a little bit, just like that. So that's the whole look of that. And then this is what it looks like without it. So you can see that there's a lot of coverage going on. So that's pretty much how you install it. So I got a little bit more to go for sure. I got all the way around there. And then I got to come around this side here. And then I just got to do the front of the garage. There's nothing really on that side of the house. So we don't have too much more to go, but we're going to get going here. You can see there's already some, there's already some leaves that have fallen and see how it's kind of catching it and shooting them off. All right, I just finished up a section. So I'm gonna go back through with the leaf blower, just to blow everything out of that section before I close that section up. And then uh, we'll close it up and we'll go on to the next one. All right, we're almost done here. We got all the way around there and then around the front of the house and then halfway around the back of the house. Now we just have this run to finish up right here. And then we got to go down and finish up underneath that patio there and then do the front gutter on the on the front garage really this thing goes pretty smoothly except for just the only issue or the only hard part about these uh these gutter guards is you doing the corners you got to make it work so it's always surrounded by gutter guard this lady actually needs a new roof here pretty soon this roof isn't looking isn't looking too hot there's a few spots in it over over the porch that aren't looking too good but i'm wearing a mask because it's super super smoky here i mean it's like believe it or not it is 2 40 in the afternoon and you can't even really see the sun um it's so smoky just because we have all those fires going on around us right now but pretty crazy so we're gonna finish this up Okay, I got all the gutter guards in place. So now I'm just gonna go off and blow, blow this roof off one more time. I just laid my last uh, my last gutter guard here on the garage got everything finished here on the whole house as you can see the, there's a few leaves already on the roof and those leaves have fallen since I had last been on there and blew everything off 
but we got all the gutter guards off we got most of the leaves cleaned up we just got to do a little bit more clean up here and then uh we gotta get out of here but that's pretty much it this tree last winter uh this branch actually broke off actually where there's green stuff it's the only live part on the tree but now well i guess there's a few live parts up there but uh now this tree pretty much needs to go so that might be a job down the road for sure <laughs> so that's funny i actually talked to those people about that tree when i was in there and they're like oh yeah we need that thing to go because you know the last last winter that big old branch fell down so they're afraid the whole tree's gonna come down but that tree's pretty dead so i told them that uh, we could definitely get to it so i'm gonna write them up write them up an estimate for that and probably me and frank will come over and take that down for them uh and then uh, so they're pretty sweet about that so we are heading home now man this smoke this smoke is coming in thick by the day like look look at that that over there is the sun <laughs> just crazy that the sun like is barely even seen because of all the smoke it's just like so thick but anyways okay so we are changing up uh the way that we're pricing and it has to do with the handyman law here in california so uh you know like i talked about a few times in the past videos is i found out the law in in california regarding handyman is um and some of you guys have have hinted towards that as well that uh a handyman can only do 500 dollars per project which i knew that um but the the question was what is defined as a project and according to the CSLB a project is including everything that's on one estimate um, at one house so uh, so if I do a job that is more than $500 on an on a estimate in one day or whatever then that is over the limit um, there's some of the gray areas that I don't completely understand in that but we'll kind of let it go as it is so what we're changing up to what we've been uh, what we've been told that we should do is uh, do go to an hourly rate. So we are now charging an hourly rate, um, you know, $90 per hour with the two hour minimum. Uh, both me and Frank are running with that. It's a whole lot easier to estimate because I don't have to do estimation days. So it's pretty sweet. Um, and it's working out pretty good. So this job totaled, um, you know, so it's 90 bucks an hour, two hour minimum, plus any need of materials, obviously. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not paying for their materials. Um, so this job, was, I was there for four hours. Uh, total labor was 360. Um, got out of there, got it done. They were happy. Uh, the next job that we'll do for them is that tree. So that'll be a pretty sweet one. And I'll get all that firewood. So that'll be uh, that'll be good to go. I won't be able to use it this year, but you know we'll have to let it sit for a few years. But that works out pretty well. So I am heading home now. Going to meet up with Frank. Got to exchange some checks and uh, talk about talk about business and whatnot and then I'm gonna go home and start my real job which is being a father and a husband so super excited about that so thank you all so much for tuning in I hope you all have a fantastic day and we'll see you on the next vlog